Hi, John McElroy here talking all things automotive. Today, I want to dive into which car companies are making the most efficient electric vehicles. While there's so much focus on who's got the longest driving range, I don't think that really tells the story. Any car company can get longer range just by putting in a bigger battery, but that also adds cost and weight. I think a better way to measure the efficiency of an EV is to look at who uses the least amount of electricity to go the furthest. And by that measure, the most efficient EV you can buy in the American market right now is Tesla's rear drive Model 3. The EPA rates it at 25 kilowatt hours per 100 miles. But I don't really like the way that the EPA states that. I mean, none of us thinks in terms of driving 100 miles every time we get in the car. The EPA is just trying to copy how Europe measures fuel efficiency for ICE vehicles which is liters consumed per 100 kilometers. And while there is good reasons for doing it like that, most of us don't think that way. We're used to thinking in terms of miles per gallon. So let's convert the EPA numbers to miles per kilowatt hour, which is a little bit more familiar to all of us. Using that measure, the rear drive Tesla Model 3 delivers four miles per kilowatt hour. And that's the gold standard right now. That's the best of any car that the EPA has rated. Next up are the rear drive Model Y and the all-wheel drive Lucid Air. They're both rated at 3.8 miles per kilowatt hour. But because the Lucid is all-wheel drive, I'd say that actually makes it more efficient than the rear drive Model Y. In fact, we really need to compare the 1,100 horsepower Lucid Air Launch Edition to the Tesla Model S Plaid with 19-inch wheels. And using the EPA's numbers, the Lucid is 27% more efficient than the Plaid. You know, I can't wait for Lucid to come out with a rear-drive car with less horsepower and a smaller battery. It could probably surpass Tesla in overall efficiency, but I say could because Tesla is a moving target and undoubtedly will continue to get better. Okay, next up on the list at 3.5 miles per kilowatt hour is Tesla's Model S and surprise, surprise, the Chevrolet Bolt. I say surprise, surprise because the Bolt is an older design. It's built on a modified ICE chassis and it's gotten horrendously bad publicity because of the battery fires it had. So for it to be near the top of the list shows that General Motors actually did a pretty good job of engineering this car. Then we drop down to the Kia EV6 at 3.4 miles. You know, I thought the Hyundai Ioniq 5 would be the same as the EV6 since they're built on the same platform and use the same battery packs and the same motors, but the Ioniq 5 is a tad less efficient at 3.3 miles. By the way, that's the same number for the Volkswagen ID.4 and the Nissan LEAF with the small 40 kilowatt hour battery pack. If you go for a LEAF with the 62 kilowatt hour pack, you'll drop down to 3.2 miles, which is the same rating for the Polestar 2 and the BMW i4. And now we come to the Mustang Mach-E. The rear drive version gets 3 miles per kilowatt hour, which is the same as the Tesla Model X, and it's followed by the Mercedes EQS at 2.8, the Mazda MX-30 at 2.7, and the BMW iX and Volvo XC40 at 2.5. And then in quick succession come the Audi e-tron GT at 2.4, the Porsche Taycan at 2.3, and the Jaguar I-Pace at 2.2. At the bottom of the list, the EPA rates the Rivian R1T at only two miles per kilowatt hour. But there is one vehicle that's even below that, the 9,000-pound GMC Hummer EV. The EPA has not released an official rating for it yet, but General Motors tells us it's going to come in at 1.6 miles per kilowatt hour. You know, the EPA actually does a pretty good job of coming up with numbers that most people will get. They run all of their cars through what they call FTP 75, Federal Test Procedure 75. It's got a combination of city and highway driving. Now, if you got a lead foot, you're not going to get these numbers. But if you know any hypermiling tricks, you can easily beat them. And for the general public in everyday driving, these numbers are pretty accurate. So there you've got it. 
the most efficient EVs in the market from best to worst. I didn't go through every single model variation, so if I miss something that you are interested in, you can find it yourself. Just go to the EPA website, fueleconomy.gov.